When you're ready to save your book jacket design in Adobe Illustrator, we need to save a proof PDF and a print ready PDF. So let's go to file, save as, select PDF, and you should be using version numbers. So underscore V1, and this is going to be our proof. Spell out proof and click save. For this preset dropdown, we want high quality print and we want to uncheck preserve illustrator editing capabilities. This will help optimize or reduce the file size and save PDF. Now we need to save a print ready PDF and you need to make sure that all of your backgrounds extend to this red line, which is the bleed line. And to do that, we need to go to file, save as. This time we're going to do print at the end of our file name, save as PDF save and in our preset let's go to high quality pdf uncheck preserve illustrator editing and under marks and bleed if you set your document up correctly we're going to do trim marks and use document bleed settings which is 0.125 inches save pdf here is the proof pdf this is what the book cover should look like after it's been trimmed out and here is the print PDF, which has this white border. And you can see these trim marks around the corners that are cutting into the background. So now that we've saved everything, you do want to make sure you have your working file, your Illustrator file. And we also need to save a copy of this with all of this text converted to paths or outlines. So if that the font we're missing, we would be able to still preview the text, how it should visually appear. So make sure everything is unlocked by going to object. And if anything's locked, it will say unlock all. We'll select that. And now I'm going to select everything by either direct selection with your black arrow, or if you do control A or command A to select everything and go to type create outlines. And now you can see this text is no longer editable as text. So we're going to save a copy by going to file, save as or file, save a copy. And you want to make sure and change the file name. We do not want to override the working file. So let's do a hyphen and type paths or outlines is fine. And we want it to be illustrator and save. Another thing we want to do is with our working file open, so the non paths version, we're going to go to file, open recent. We want our working file with the text still active. We need to package everything together. So any of these links to images, we want them all contained in a package. So nothing gets lost or we don't accidentally delete any of the image files. So go to file, package and navigate to the location where you want to save this. You can change the folder name if you would like. And this is going to copy all of this information and click package and now show package. And here you can see it has saved an illustrator file for us. If there are any non Adobe fonts, it will package those depends on the copyright of the font. And then there is a links folder with my placed images. If you have copied image from the web and pasted them into the document, they will be embedded. Ideally, you want those to still be links. So you could save this or export it so it's a separate link and then place it back in so it is a linked file and not embedded. Sometimes that can increase your file size depending on how large that image is. And you should really check that all of your images are in CMYK color mode. So to do that, you would ideally do that before you save for print. So let's open one of these in Photoshop. And to check the color mode, you can see right now it's actually an RGB up here in the tab. You can go to image mode and convert it to CMYK color mode. Okay. And then you would save it. So you would want to do that for all of your images to make sure it's ready for print because RGB is for digital. 
the web and screens, and CMYK is for print mode. And then in your final package folder, you want to make sure all of your PDFs and the Illustrator file converted to outlines are all together there too. So, so I would want to select these three documents and paste them into the same location. So we have everything together for our final package of the files and all of the assets 